All these girls are in chicken jail right now. Welcome to mid-April, uh, Wickshire Project. It might be the 18th or 19th. It's today, Saturday or Sunday, one of those days. I don't know, I don't keep track of things. And uh, we'll check this out on the video very soon. Rained out last night, so the peppers are taking a bath. Root rot anybody? Waterlogged? <laughs> I'll dump that in a second. All the melon seeds inside have been planted and the cell trays that nothing came up in. I had to give them a home. The stuff that I cannot ID, if anyone has a clue, whatever it is, it's doing well. From inside the house, we had all those Ziploc bags full of melons. And I have them planted. These are awesome. You just bend that up and it comes right off. I like those. I thought I had a whole bag of these. Yeah, anything that is wire, this is warm. Anything that's wire is going to be clipped off. I'm trying to save the. Very cool. We have now officially moved the goat pen. I have to get his tarps up for shelter, keep him out of the rain. He's already cleared out all the brush. It looked like that. There is so many blackberries here. Um, they're just popping up everywhere. Down in the rows, you can see some corn, lots of peas, lots more peas. More corn and peas, more corn and peas. Here's those zucchinis. Pea plant coming up. There's that transplant. Big update on all the starts. Watermelon radish, getting lots of leaves on it. The uh, Detroit dark red beets, slow growing, but they're happening. Lettuce is doing really, really well. Peppers are strengthening up. They've got full leaves on them now. And all the tomatoes are getting much, much bigger and taller. I actually feel like a gardener now. So we said we'd move that goat pen and put the tarp down. This is going to be our melon trellis area for growing all our melons. I laid it out and we're letting the rain wash it down. 
this is where we're going to set up our big grow bags, get our trellis system up. So again, major update for the garden. So here we have the back of the goat pen with the new garden area is. And you can see I've been flipping the soil looking at it. Uh, most of our soil is that bright yellow clay. It is getting much darker. And towards the very back, there's four inches. I got the shovel in here, I've been flipping it, checking for worms. But you see there's a lot of shovel damage. And what I was doing in this dark soil was making a 50 pound bag of it for Eric and Brittany. And there's all the good stuff. Just goat pellets everywhere. Again, it's a cold compost. They have to sift through it, get rid of all the rocks and sticks. But it's the base for their beds where they're growing. This is what you call a volunteer. It does not belong here. Yep, that is a squash or a pumpkin seed. Our potatoes are about a week old. Uh, they're starting to grow out of the bag. So tons and tons of growth. And these ones have purple leaves, so I think these are going to be purple potatoes. Let's check out those nasturtiums. They're getting bigger. That's dog fennel. I thought that was dill. Definitely flower growth. There's the dill. That's what we're looking for. Whatever we planted in here for flowers. I think it's the petunias. I'm not sure. Or the money plants had come up. Chives are starting to pop their heads up. Anything else in there is a natural weed. And whatever we planted in back there, uh, those flowers are now coming up. Herb Garden has a ton of growth. We're seeing the basil and the purple basil. That might be parsley. Cilantro. Our spearmint is just growing and growing and growing and growing. The cool thing is, if you look here where the spearmint is, it's come over and it's coming up underneath. This is from the chicken and goose pen. This is that crusted layer that was over the winter. It's all matted down. So I peeled the layers open, see if there was any infestation. And there is. You guys can see the grub. So normally what the chickens do is I'll bring this out here into the compost pile. They'd scratch through this. They'd eat all the grubs out of it, cleaning up the compost and help mixing it. Yeah, he's making a run for it. Sunflower update, they're popping up about three inches high. Just found this in the backyard. If anyone can ID it. So I don't want you to feel bad for them. All these girls are in chicken jail right now. They're in their run. They've got their coop. Uh, the coop itself is supposed to house seven chickens, but I got a goose in there. We let them out into the run here, which is a six by six foot area. We had to extend that. It was too small to keep them in. It's just too many of them. But yeah, this is chicken jail. And the reason why I have them in here, they were destroying all my starts, pulling and killing everything. So we can't let them out this year. During fall, once the pumpkins and everything have formed, uh, we'll let them out 
and they can free range in the winter. If that makes sense, it's Tennessee. It doesn't get too bad down here. Thanks for watching the Wickshire Project. Appreciate everybody checking in, cheering us on. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.